Happy Thursday, Thursday from the Hemingway Production Studio. Studio. I'm Stratton. And I'm Viviana. And we are from Miss Scott's class. And Miss Copeland's class. Today with local news is Riley. All students, the Used Book Fair is coming next Tuesday and Wednesday. It will be held in the lobby. Make sure to bring some money as there will be a ton of books at great prices. This fundraiser benefits the Washington, D.C. Travel Group. This has been Riley with the local news. Now it's time for the Pledge of Allegiance. Will everybody in your classroom please stand? Ready, begin. begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, now it's time for today's lunch. Today's lunch will be a barbecue drumstick and a breadstick, a yogurt and fruit parfait or hard-boiled egg, and a bagel. Now it's time to get a check on the weather with Zach, Susanna, and Riley. Today's, today's weather, weather will be partly sunny, then a chance of showers with a high temperature of 63 degrees Fahrenheit. Tonight will be mostly cloudy, then isolated thunder showers with a low of 34 degrees. Now back to the ankles. Now it's time for the sport report with Zach. You can call them the first place New York Yankees as they beat Boston last night. In other news, the Angels beat Colorado. The Giants lost as did Seattle. This has been Zach with the sports report. Now it's time for today's fun and true fact of the day. Did you know that bees visit about five million flowers to make one average size of jar of honey? Speaking of bees, the Sun Valley Center of the Arts is having a special family day on Saturday from three to five. At this event, you get to see a real live beehive. Yes, you heard that, right? A real live beehive. Here are Hemingway students Lucas and Liam to tell you about it. So, what's going on at the center? Well, on Saturday, we're having our family day, which we are going to look at our bee exhibition. And during that family day, you'll be able to do lots of different things. You can check out our art, which is all about bees and pollinators. You can visit our live beehive. We're going to have two beekeepers and lots of different activities that you can participate in. So what is this wooden box in between us? This is a live beehive. It's an observation hive. It was generously donated by Steve Hobbs and his wife Caroline. And Steve is our beekeeper. He's a backyard beekeeper that has been taking care of the bees. What do the bees do at night when it gets cold? They come back into the hive and they sleep just like you and I do. And then in the morning when the sun comes out, and it warms up, they go back outside to get their pollen to bring back to the hive. Are you able to go outside and check out the bees? You know, the bees are really friendly, but we prefer you left them alone. So there's signs all over the east side of the building warning people that there is a live hive. So we ask that you stay away from the east side of the building and use our main entrance during this exhibition. So what other activities are there for kids to do on Saturday? Well, obviously, we really want you to look at and explore the artwork, so we have a young visitor's guide. Um, our bees, when you first walk into the museum, there are 10,000 paper bees, and in there, we would like you to try to find the queen. There is one queen hiding in the 10,000 bees. We also have some games. We have the pollinator games, where you move the pollen, from the flower to the honeycomb and the life cycle game. We have insect art where you can do rubbings and do rubber stamps. And then in the classroom, we're gonna be making all natural be bird feeders. How much does it cost to go? Well, that's the best part of family days. They are absolutely free. And anytime the museum's open, you can visit us 
and that's free as well. Tell us about the special exhibit in the project room. So that is from an artist whose name is Mary Early. She's from Washington, D.C. And she did a special installation just for us here at the center. She used her building blocks, which are made of beeswax and string. And she um, looked at the space and installed it just for us. This, lo this looks cool. Real bees. This has been Stratton. And Viviana. Saying have a great Thursday. Bye. Hasta la